What's going to Mike here again, another video, new series, Q and A with the subscribers. Um, as an automotive enthusiast, and a lot of you are who watch me, I get a ton of questions. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm gonna apologize right now. I cannot get to every single one of these questions. It's very difficult for me. I've ignored a lot of you, and I wanna apologize first and foremost to the subscribers and the fans on the channel with the builds and questions um, about Hondas and performance. It's a little bit hard for me just because a lot of your questions involve in-depth answers. As far as performance-wise, it's a very niche audience. There's a very niche amount of people who drag race or, or want to hook up their Hondas and hook up their cars and imports in general. If I were to answer every single person's question, it would take me years to get through all these questions that you guys have. This new series about uh, Q&A and answering questions, I don't know what to call it, Tech Tuesday or Answers with Mike. I, I really wanted to take my time and instead of answering one subscriber's question or one fan's question, I wanted to do it to where I could broadcast it and maybe you'd have a similar situation with a subscriber who has this question and you wanted to know what engine or what mod you should do to your car. And I could answer a lot of people's uh, concerns with that. This subscriber reached out to the battlebornspeedshop.com uh, IG. It says, been watching you since on YouTube since the beginning. My track car has a B18C in it and the block is getting tired from four seasons of racing. Had the head rebuilt with Supertech flat valves, springs already. What piston rods and cams do you recommend off for a budget? Not looking for big power, just reliability and fun to get around the track. Thank you. Cup chai. So, um, shout out to, uh, this gentleman here. He's Laos. Shout out to my Laos brothers. Perfect question. B18C GSR. This is a little bit different from the drag racing scene, but I do track as well. And in a track, you want something reliable, guys. You're not really shooting for high power. Um, you're trying to do something that you can, uh, take out all the time, add a little bit more power, but also add reliability. Building a motor for track is totally different from drag racing. Uh, drag racing, you're on the throttle, full throttle for a very short period of time. When you're doing drag racing, you're all the way late into the RPM. Okay. You got K series guys, the revenue to 10, 11,000 RPM. You don't do this when you're racing on a track. Your power band is going to be around 6,000 to eight, eight and a half around that area. This is an opportunity for you to bump up the compression with the pistons. Um, I would not recommend it if you daily this car um, and, and the type of fuel that you use in this car. If you're using pump gas, I don't know what you guys get. Some places get 93 octane, some like on the West Coast, you get 91. You're on a thin, thin line between uh, compression ratios, okay? For you to get a higher compression uh, piston, you're gonna need to use a more expensive fuel, race fuel, uh, unless you're like flex fuel or use E85 and have higher injectors like that. That's kind of your options, okay? If you want reliability, I would stick to stock compression that you're at at a GSR, which is gonna be uh, 10.0 on the compression. Weissco or CP piston is gonna be your best bet. Uh, cams, I have a set of cams for you that are perfect. Th these sets of cams, this is a tried and true formula for great power on that car. Here you go. I got these Skunk 2s. Uh, this Skunk 2 is uh, Skunk Stage 2 cams. This is like the Tuner Series. Uh, they have fancier cams, but this is a tried and true cam that's been around, been around for many, many decades. Right here. Um, with the flat face valves, you probably bumped up the compression a little bit. This cam, if you start to go to a higher cam, the higher lift you go on the cams, you're gonna to have to get specialty uh, measurements done on the motor to make sure those cams can work on your setup, okay? Now, rods, if you're, if you're doing all motor, you can do an H-beam. You could do something like BC as well. So BC has a set of rods that are, they're not made necessarily for turbo cars, they're lighter, um, and they have like a, a slimmer profile uh, they're lighter than stock, they're stronger, but they're not as strong as a turbo rod, okay? They have turbo H, 
H beams, I beams, et cetera, et cetera. BC has a lighter rod, typically meant for all motor, okay? A little less uh, grams than a stock rod. So those are the types of things that I would recommend for you. You would want a kind of a stage two cam. You already have the head built. A lot of the times, if you were to go to a higher lift cams, you need to have upgraded valve springs anyway. You can go higher if you want to go through that process of measuring and making sure that you have the matching valve train to the cam. A lot of you guys who build motors, when you buy a part and then you change your mind, adding something later, you can mess up your build because you bought the stuff without thinking of setting up a plan, right? So if you have valve springs, these valve springs only work with a certain stage of cam. If you get a really high lift cam and your valve springs are not enough to support that lift and that RPM, you will, you know, have valve float and you'll mess up your motor. So depending on the valve springs, uh, especially on a B series, you're going to be around like 80 pounds or something like that between like 70, 80 pounds. Uh, those things can take uh, stage two cams, stage three cams. They're higher lift cams, like super race cams. You need some uh, higher spring rate, you know, maybe a hundred pounds on those spring rates, but those are for racing only. And those are kind of going like full force drag race. Uh, you get those types of uh, spring pressures. So if you also, you know, depending on the compression ratio, I talked about it before fuels, you're just sticking to pump. You don't want to go, you know, a point or two over stock. You know what I mean? So since you're around uh, like a 10 to one compression ratio and you're using 91, um, 93 octane, don't go a point full up. The reason being is you're going to start to knock or detonate. You're going to have problems unless this is a race only thing. You put fuel in, um, you can have better luck with that. So yeah, I have, I'm going to have a list of parts that I recommend down below and links down below. That's something that I would recommend. Uh, again, um, Skunk 2 Stage 2 cams, uh, CP piston, right around the stock compression. You already have flat face valves. Usually a valve is like concaved. Um, so you, you added a flat face valve, which takes away, um, what adds, which adds compression. So you're going to have a, a bump in the compression ratio in your motor and I would recommend a CP piston or a Wysco piston. Pistons are going to be around the same price across the board. Cams, I'd recommend a company that uh, specializes in Hondas and not a kind of a company that is a domestic company that wants to jump into Hondas. Hondas stay the focus. So that's why I stick with Skunk 2. They've been around and they're, a lot of their cams have been around for decades and they're a tried and true. And price-wise, they're a great price point, especially the B series cams. Um, they're, you know, since, since the B series are, are becoming rarer to find, there's a lot less motors than there was 10, 20 years ago. Uh, a lot of their, a lot of their products are competitively priced. You know what I mean? Because they know that's, that there's a lot less of them. Uh, a lot of people switched over to the K's. So those are the things that I would recommend. I'll have a list down below of, kind of a different companies that I'd recommend, you know, one or two different options. And that's something that would benefit you. So anyway, guys, I enjoyed that. Um, I'm, I'm asking me more questions. I'll try to get to them. I have, I am backed up. I do have maybe hundreds of questions that I have to get through, but I appreciate you guys. Hopefully you enjoy this. Um, you can ask questions down below as well. I'll try to get to them. No promises. Um, but hope you enjoy this. Until the next video, guys, peace.